Linux is comprised of a number of different files and file types. And wherever you go in Linux, no matter if it's a directory file link or a network connection, a socket, it's all file based. Um, the Linux operating system is heavily reliant on files, file types. There's seven different file types and file permissions. And anything from um, troubleshooting to security issues can be isolated down to the file permissions. So permissions in Linux are actually quite important. Um, you could actually solve a number of different issues on a system or issues might arise on a system due to permission issues. Knowing your permissions is actually the first step in securing your um, file system and your server. So it's a good, under, good idea to have a good understanding of the file system. So I'm going to go ahead and make two direct, a directory and a file here. So I did a make directory and just a touch a file. And in this example, they're both empty. This is just demo for permissioning permissions. Now, if you notice a directory, it starts with D. So that this doesn't need the specific um, directory name or if it's a file. So if it's a slash, it's a file. And if it's an S, it's a socket. So those are just some different file types. The next three letters represent the user permission. So in this case, the user is owned by data. So the W is read, write, execute. The next set of three characters is the group. So in this case, the group is also data. So read, write, and the dash means no execute. So it only has read, write permissions. And the last one is all other users. So it's read and execute. And again, the bottom one, the file is just read, no execute, no write. So for directories, that execute bit is important for entering a directory. To be able to change directory or CD into a directory, it has to have the execute bit um, set for your either if you're the user of the group or the other or every other. So the way you can change permissions with the change mod command or cho chose mode, chose mode, I think some people refer to it. I usually call it change mod, but I have heard it referred to differently is you can use the characters. So group minus right. So remove the right permission from the group. Um, it's pretty common to use the character name like group owner user or other end user um, g w and o respectively and then minus or plus the read write or execute bit i personally actually like using the binary conversion just because mentally it's a little faster for me as you can see from the slide in the corner instead of using a change mod with like other plus execute you could also just do a binary conversion. So for every exit bit you want to enable, you put a one and then it's one, two, four. So it kind of adds up. So they're in sections of three for user, group, and other. So it's kind of you doing the numerical conversion for, so if it's, if you have rewrite execute, it's one, 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 which is seven. So you kind of see how that kind of works right there. Um, so this is a kind of easy way, and after doing this for a while, you're going to find that it's actually easier to kind of mentally do this in your head to just do a quick um, binary to uh, decimal conversion and do a change mod that way. The other thing I want to go over was some other special permissions, and that is the sticky bit and also the um, set UI, set user ID bit and the set group ID bit. So change mod plus T sets the sticky bit and the sticky bit on a file does interesting things where it actually stores it into the system cache longer. And when you actually assign it to a directory, it has interesting file permissions where the user only can edit files that they specifically own, I believe in the directory itself. So you kind of look at that if you want some interesting things to do with file permissions. The other one is the set UID bit, and this is actually historically a huge security issue in file systems because you could actually uh, force root to run certain executable files or binary files um, or a script by setting the set UID bit. So that's where that first number, the 4744, so it see that S for the user there, that's that initial 4 in the change mod command plus the traditional 744, which is all user permissions for users, and read and read for group and other. So now this can actually um, have an issue if you set it 
give ownership to root and then try to run it. You notice I, the permission here, the OS actually stopped me from allowing this to happen because if I was able to do this, I could download a binary file that does system changes, give ownership to root, set the sticky bit, and then it will run root as your file system. So this is actually a security issue. The last thing you should take a note of is the UMask. And this is system defined, or it's actually a shell defined limit. And it kind of defines the initial file permissions that will be set. And it's the UMass. So it's kind of you do a binary, you do a binary logical and, and then a not against it. So look up the man pages if you're interested in UMass. You can actually set it in the ETC profile or your ETC bash profile to initial set the file permissions for any new files being created. So if you have a lot of users on a system, this is it might be a good idea for um, you set making sure all new files have the correct permissions so not um, all users are be able to access all other users' files. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.